11 iPhone features you never knew existed. Let's start right in the settings app. Scroll down and tap on photos. Here you've got a switch, hidden album. The heck does that do? Well, it creates a hidden album on your iPhone. So now if I go to the photos app and scroll down, underneath utilities, you will see hidden. Great feature if you have a, a nosy roommate, for example. Or a toddler who's the next Bill Gates. Yeah, so if you wanna add a photo to the hidden album, let's go to library. I'll just select a photo. Tap the share button, lower left-hand corner of the screen. Scroll down and tap hide. Hide photo. And now if we go back, to our hidden album, there it is. Okay, but but seriously, David, like it's a hidden album? Yep. So uh, how do we hide it? Yeah, how do we hide the hidden Let's album? Let's go back to settings. Turn off that switch next to hidden album. You've added your photo. Now the hidden album is gone. It's hidden. Have you ever lost track of your car in a large venue like a sporting arena? One time I was at the old Giant Stadium with my dad and we had no idea where we left the car. I mean, we had a general idea, but but what we had to do was we had to wait for everybody else to leave. If only there was an easier way to find the car. Well, what you should have done is you should have commanded Siri, save my parking spot. Commanded her. No questions no this questions. time. Do it. Yeah, that's all getting picked up on the... Uh, the... Well, I'll, I'll be quiet. Go ahead. Save my parking spot. There you go. Now our parked car is pinned. We know exactly where it is. We can get directions right back to it. Right. Like most people, I like to read the comments of an article sometimes before I read the article mm -hmm. itself. Do I want to take the two seconds to scroll all the way back up to the top? Nope. Nope. What you can do is tap anywhere at the top of the screen. It'll take you right back up to the top. Zoom like Superman. Do you remember the Shazam app? Sure do. It was purchased by Apple in 2018 and built right into the iPhone. So we play a song. Okay. And we ask Siri, what song is this? And there we go, five seconds there. And now if you wanna add this song to your Apple Music library, just tap on that song at the top of the screen. It'll take you right to that song in the album. It's great. How easy is that? No more Googling the lyrics. But here's what I want. I want a version where I can hum the tune of a song mm. into the phone and then it tells me what song that is. Obviously it's more complicated, but really I'm waiting for that. Cause a lot of the times I don't know, you know, I don't even know the lyrics. Yeah. Maybe it has no lyrics. Maybe it doesn't. Exactly, classical musician, discrimination. Next, let's talk about a new iOS 15 feature, background sounds. But before we do, please subscribe to our channel. It really helps us out a lot. We're trying to get to 1 million subscribers by the end of the year. Please help us out. So no longer do you have to have your friends following you around going Much better way now. Tap back to the main page of settings, scroll up and tap accessibility. Then scroll down and tap audio visual, then tap background sounds. Turn on that switch at the top of the screen. And now you got that nice ocean noise, very relaxing. We have a full video on background sounds specifically. Get more into the nitty gritty. We'll link to that in the description section below and a card above. It's a riveting video. No, but actually it is good. Seriously. Next, we've got a few messages app tricks for you. Let's go to the messages app. The first thing, if you want to quickly share your location with someone, just type I'm at, and then it'll say current location. Just tap on current location. It'll fill in for you. Interesting. Really uh, hammering home the importance of grammar. Yes. To, the, to our kids. Thanks, Next Apple. up, it's very difficult to move the cursor on your iPhone. You gotta, you gotta really poke in the right spot. Right, it's impossible sometimes. Well, what you can do, press it holding the space bar, and now, nice and easy. Look at that. Scrolling back and forth, Scroll. and it works in longer documents yes. too, like a note. Makes it really easy to make those corrections instead of just holding, you know, or yeah. tapping or poking. Next, you can send messages with some flair by pressing and holding that send button. And then you here you have your iMessage effects. So what do you want to do? You want to slam it at them? Boom. What if you want to add a little screen? Spotlight? All these cool things. And then just tap that send button again. I'm at balloons. I'm at balloons. It's a party. It's a party. <laughs> But I'm not but saying you're, you're, not you're not invited. Yeah. And when you type in something like happy birthday or happy new year, some of these will happen automatically. And sometimes I get messages like, why are there fireworks blowing up on my phone right now? It's like, right. oh, well, it's, you know, it's January 1st. Right. And they're not real. Don't freak out. I got to level with you, David. I don't think that there could ever be any more awesome tips. Well, there are quite a few. Okay. Let's open the measure app on our iPhones. And at the bottom, you can do a level. Lay your yeah. phone flat, and look at that, we got a really flat table here. We sure do, that's lucky. Wow. Zero degrees, that's perfect. That's perfect. Now, would I use this if I'm a professional carpenter? Probably not. Right. But, 
In a pinch. In a pinch, it works. It just, yeah. When I'm hanging my shelves, you know, I don't need to be perfect. Just, no. <laughs> that's, this is, that's why he has lots of broken pictures yeah. in his apartment. Yeah. Or house, excuse me. Next, let's open up the calculator app. Now, pretty basic calculator, but when we put it in landscape mode, boom. <laughs> now it can do all the things that I don't understand. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. If you want a flashback to maybe math class in mm -hmm. high school, maybe give yourself a little anxiety, yeah. landscape mode, come back to portrait, and you're back in elementary school. Next, let's it's talk kind about- kind of like a time machine. Let's talk about scanning and signing documents. I loved this idea. People are always printing out documents they're scanning, you, you just don't need to do that. Yep. Sometimes you do though, have a printed document and then you need to scan it and sign it. You don't need to use your printer. Yeah, well you can use the notes app. So if you open up the notes app and create a new note, let me get in my sample document here. This is not a real document. If you steal this information, you're not gonna get very far, I promise. Tap on that camera at the bottom of the screen and then tap scan documents. And it should usually happen automatically for you. This is a white table, white document, but did pretty well there. It did all white. Did all, did all white. Once you've scanned all your documents, tap save, lower right hand corner of the screen. Oh, you got a couple of them. That's all right. That's all right. So if you want to add a signature, for example, <laughs> to your document, just tap on that document, tap on the share button upper right hand corner of the screen, tap on markup, then tap the plus button and tap signature. I've got a few signatures saved here. If you don't have any signatures, just tap add or remove signature, tap that plus button and sign your name. That's it's beautiful. That's beautiful, yeah. Yeah. And then just resize it to the size that you like. That's uh, a little big. Uh, there pretty we go. decent. Yep. So how do we get rid of that second page though, if we want to? Well, let's tap done here. So let's go to that second page. Swipe right to left. Tap on that trash can. Tap delete scan. That one is. All right. Gone. So now it's good to go. If I wanted to email it to somebody, what would I do? Well, just tap that share button upper left hand corner of the screen. Tap the mail app. Choose the person that you want. What? Send it. See you later, Epson scanner. No need for you anymore. Thanks for watching this video. We hope you learned something. And if you did, subscribe, because why not? Got nothing to lose.